Hey everyone, welcome back to Woodland Frenchies. Today we got a quick, short little video just today talking about uh, color DNA with a French Bulldog. So I had a person ask, can a French, a chocolate French Bulldog produce a blue or lilac colored French Bulldog puppy? Um, so today's video, I wanted to share how that is possible. And we have a great example uh, right here to share with you with CC's litter bred to um, Baker. So Baker is a lilac merle. He carries two copies blue. He carries two copies chocolate. So that makes a lilac. And then CC carries two copies chocolate and one copy blue. So the first answer to you guys, you have to first uh, color uh, test your females or your males. Make sure you know what color DNA they have. If you have a chocolate uh, French Bulldog, you're gonna know right away you have the two copies of chocolate, which is little co, little co, or if you do testable chocolate, it's little b, little b. Uh, but I would test for both of those. And then also you're gonna wanna test for the, the color blue, which is little d, that's a dilution gene. So I would just get a full, full copy or full test done on all the different colors you have on your adults. Um, so yeah, with CC, obviously she's chocolate and maybe you have a chocolate female or male. You're going to want to know does my chocolate carry the color blue because that's the only way you're going to be able to breed to another french bulldog and potentially have blue or lilac frenchies such as this here so um, that's the first step get your dogs tested and then so cc carry say your dog has one copy of blue you're going to definitely want to if you want as many blues or lilacs as possible you're going to definitely want to breed to a lilac um, French Bulldog. So that's pretty important. And I'd recommend a lilac and not just a blue because the blues aren't necessarily going to carry chocolate. And uh, lilacs are going to carry two copies of the chocolate and two copies of the blue. And that way you're for sure going to get these beautiful, nice, rich lilac or blue colored Frenchies. So I know these are they both carry two copies of blue because again the female only carried one copy of blue so luck we got and i got the lucky end of the stick with her being able to pass that copy to these puppies if she didn't pass that copy to these puppies then they would have been chocolate um but they would have been a carrier of blue because the dad passed that copy and maybe we can go do a nice little uh, graph when we get back to the my office there and show you guys really what that looks like All right guys, we're back at the lab here gonna figure out exactly is it possible to produce blue puppies or lilac puppies uh, With just a chocolate mom or dad. So again, we have CC who is chocolate you can tell by her coat color she's chocolate and then we have uh, Baker who's lilac or blue as well. So we got some graphs up here to show you kind of what the percentages are and if it is possible. Uh, the red is going to be classified as CC and the green is going to be classified as Baker. Uh, we got the blue graph, I think it's a Punnett square, blue Punnett square over here to determine the percentage of getting blue with the puppies and then we have the chocolate Punnett square here to determine if it's possible to get chocolate puppies. So first let's look at CC's DNA. She is um, a chocolate but she carries one copy of blue, which is right here. She has little d, big d, little co, little co. So that would be classified as a chocolate because she, only, she carries two copies of chocolate, but only one copy of blue. So if she would have two copies of little d, she would be a lilac. But you can clearly see in her picture that she is a chocolate Frenchie. Baker here, two copies blue, little d, little d, two copies cocoa, little co, little co makes him a lilac. Um, if he would only have one copy of Coco, uh, he would be a blue, blue Frenchie. So that's the difference between the blue and the lilac. So real easy, aha, this is an easy Punnett square for the chocolate. Both parents carry two copies of chocolate. So they're all gonna be little CO, 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 little CO. So, what percentage of the chance of these puppies to carry two copies of chocolate? It's 100%. They both will have, all the pups will have 200, 100% uh, chance of carrying two copies of chocolate. 
Now let's get to the, the blue Punnett square. Up here we have dad, here we have mom. So we just copy these over. All right, so we have, make sure this is correct. Okay, so this is basically showing that there is a 50% chance of being completely blue puppies, 50% versus 50% of being just a carrier. So that means that there would be 50% chance of being blue. And you can see we had three puppies, so obviously our odds were uh, in favor, or we had more, or the odds were, you know, were wrong, but we had 100% blue puppies based on the DNA. So is it possible for a chocolate female or male to produce blue puppy, or to produce blue or lilac puppies? The answer is yes. Um, it showed that we had a 50% chance of doing so. Um, if they didn't, if the puppies would have had been a carrier, they would have been chocolate instead of blue or lilac. Um, so yeah, that hopefully answers that question. If you guys are interested in these pups, they are available. This is Crystal. She is the most outgoing, adventurous one of the litter. They're only four weeks old. They're just learning how to crawl and run around. She's the most outgoing. Uh, champagne here definitely in my opinion is the top structure and she's got these beautiful crazy wonderful eyes <laughs> this that look on her big blocky head and then the male out of the bunch here is mr. champ so just another beautiful boy yeah so any more questions on color DNA guys or any questions about Frenchies guys hit up me on YouTube Instagram comment below Make sure to subscribe, make sure to follow us on all our socials, and we'll see you in our next video.